Hey y'all, what's up? It's Katie back here with another OnlyFans video. Today, I kind of just wanted to get on here and talk about just how hard that OnlyFans can be as a creator. Um, I feel like there's lots of videos out there that are tutorials on what to do, how to do it with OnlyFans. Um, and while all that information is great, I feel like there isn't enough to talk about how hard it is and just <clears throat> I hope that anyone who watches this or any of my instructional videos or any instructionals in general doesn't get the idea that OnlyFans is easy um, by any means because obviously if you're in OnlyFans you're doing it and you're successful then you have what it takes to do OnlyFans to be successful. You have the work ethic. Um, but for people coming on board or even us creators nowadays who have been doing this, sometimes it's easy to forget that this job is really hard and it is mentally draining and that we are humans. And I feel like I just wanna make this video and say a couple of the things I've struggled with that I'm currently struggling with with OnlyFans in hopes that it helps someone. Maybe you can relate. I hope you can relate because if you can relate, then that means you're going through stressful times with OnlyFans or have been through stressful times. But if you can, then it's normal and we all go through this as creators. At least I think the majority of us go through this. So let's get started. Um, so aside from the haters, we all know that we get a lot of hate for doing OnlyFans. I would say the number one thing about OnlyFans that's hard for me that I'm currently going through is being able to keep posting and keep your work ethic despite your um, outcomes. So like, you know, when you work a nine to five job, you, you, you usually get paid hourly despite your work ethic, the way you are working, like whether you perform, you know, whether you get more done stocking shelves one day than another, you're still getting paid the same. With OnlyFans, I feel like, and like right now I'm going through this as we speak, um, you can put in so much endless, countless work. But the hard thing about OnlyFans is that your, your give back and your pay is completely up to the public's discretion. So no matter how hard you work, really the people who have the control of whether or not you make your income and your success, I mean, largely, don't get me wrong, success depends on you and how much work you put in. But sometimes there is those times where you put in a lot of work and what you're getting back or receiving does not always align with how much work you're putting in. Um, and what I mean by this is like so far marketing, um, especially this past week, I've been really, really drilling Instagram and I've been doing like okay on Instagram. Um, I've been getting good views, but my translation over to new subscribers, it's happening, but it's not happening as much as I would like it to. It's not aligning with the views that I'm getting on Instagram um, or my views on Instagram aren't aligning with my expectations of how I thought my reels or something would perform. Um, so I think that's really hard about OnlyFans and it can be so discouraging to keep showing up, knowing that you're doing you know, what you can and then what you think is right, but not seeing results. I think it takes a very strong mind. I think it takes you know, courage and strength to recognize that, oh, like, I gotta be patient. I gotta keep going on with this. You know, when you're you're trying so hard and you're working so hard and you're not seeing results, sometimes it's not always easy to go on because it's easy to ask yourself and say, like, for what, like, why am, why am I doing this? It's, and nothing's, it's not working. It's not getting better. So like, why am I doing it? So I feel like, you know, it's really difficult as OnlyFans creators, whether it comes to marketing or on your page, your creation, whatever it may be, 
to keep pushing forward when you know you're not getting the results you like it's just very very hard and discouraging but i do want to say that if you're going through this now if you've ever went through it if you ever go through it it's completely normal and you will get out of it even me speaking this on camera gives myself more hope than what i've been feeling because of course you know you're going to be frustrated if you keep trying and trying and things just don't align with you know where you want them to be but i will say that just remember how far you've came so i like to you know it might not be going my favorite best way now but on a bad day i'm still making such and such amount and on a bad day a year ago i wasn't even making this on a good day so mentality it's really really hard as a creator and you're not alone if you get down in the dumps it's definitely normal it's gonna happen and just keep pushing so another thing with only fans that we all literally know and experience is the hate of being an only fans creator um this does not even phase me anymore it didn't really even phase me in the beginning unless someone who i was personally close to downed me that made me think and feel a little bit different but when it came from a stranger i've never really cared but a lot of people out there do care you know how many questions i get from people even people i know who want to start an only fans but they don't want to promote because they don't want their friends and family knowing they themselves see nothing wrong with only fans and they want to do it but excuse me they won't because the thoughts the criticism and the opinions of the people they know or people they don't even know just are overruling in their head and stopping them unfortunately from i think doing something absolutely amazing and life-changing which is taking financial freedom and taking control of your life um it's not easy so if you've made that step to become an only fans creator in any type of way or even create your profile and you have not started only fans yet that takes balls like it is super hard to despite what diversity says and despite what the public says go with something that you want to do go with your gut feeling um basically i like to say that like we're like a diamond in the rough you know like we are the single person that stands in a crowd of 20 to 30 people who isn't afraid to get naked on the internet and make some bank off of it and that's something in my opinion to be proud of to be able to set aside what others think stand up for yourself regardless of how it affects their opinions and the relationships of others and just really do what's best for yourself i think that is one of the most hard and honorable traits and things that you could do as a creator and definitely don't take it for granted like if you've done that and you do that like you are a tough cookie and you deserve all the praise because it's amazing like just think how many creators out there there would be more creators who aren't creators currently because they're holding back based off of what the public feels so that is just my take and my input uh two very very hard parts of being an only fans creator and i wanted to come on here and shed light of those because they're not always talked about um we all know and say that only fans isn't easy but like sometimes we don't always talk about what it is that doesn't make only fans easy it's not always you know battling whether or not we're making the income we want to make it's also just very much so of a mental battle so i hope this sheds some light and i hope that it made you feel special if you are an only fans creator because it's not easy and you're doing great um christmas season christmas is almost here and i'm super excited uh i just can't wait i've got it's it's really bad you should see my basement as far as how many gifts i've bought people it's toxic but it's a good kind of toxic because it's christmas so super excited to hand those out i will say that before i go i will link that guide slash course down below that got me to the 0.1 percent 
Um, it's at its lowest price it'll be. We're a great group of people. If you feel like joining it and you want help in mentoring ship, once you purchase it, you'll always have it. So it's definitely, definitely worth it. And um, I hope to see you there. So until next time, we will talk soon and I hope you have a great night. Bye guys.